Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. One of the most captivating events that are that is shared with us in the Quran from the history of humanity, particularly the history of the prophets, the Anbiya alayhim salatu wa salam. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon all of them. That is also highlighted during the month of Dhul Hijjah and specifically in the ritual of Hajj is the sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about this in the Quran. Inni arafil manam. Anni azbahuka fandur madha tara. That Ibrahim alayhi salam goes to his son, who our tradition informs us is the Prophet Ismail alayhi salam, the son of Ibrahim alayhi salam and Hajar salamun alayha. The individual, when he was a baby, was left with his mother by the command of Allah at the place of the Kaaba in Mecca. Biwadin ghayri zi zar'in inda baytik al muharram. So that Ismail alayhi salam, when he has become now a boy, and his father Ibrahim alayhi salam is visiting and spending time there and reconnecting with his family and enjoying this blessing of having this son that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands Ibrahim alayhi salam. And the Quran starts to narrate this to us from the moment that Ibrahim alayhi salam sits down with his son Ismail alayhi salam and shares this command of Allah with him. And what does he say? That I have seen, I have been shown, I have been told, I have been informed. The detail there is that he saw in a dream and the dreams of prophets are inspiration directly from Allah. That I am slaughtering you. That I am to sacrifice you. What do you think I should do? What are your thoughts? He said, oh my father, do what you have been commanded to do. Right? Do what you've been told. Satajiduni, inshallah, min sabirin Inshallah, you will find me to be patient. You will have, find me to have resolve and be steadfast and strong. So now what happens? Ibrahim alayhi salam takes his son Ismail and he takes him there. And the narrations inform us that this was at the place of Mina, where we have the sacrifices of the Hujjaj and where the Hujjaj are on the days of Hajj. And he lays him down to sacrifice him. Ibrahim. And then Allah says, we called out to him and we said, Oh Ibrahim, Qad You fulfilled the dream. You did as you were told. This is how we reward those who excel in doing good and obeying Allah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَفَدَيْنَاهُ بِذِبْحٍ عَظِيمٍ And we told Ibrahim, you no longer are to sacrifice your son. And we replaced it with a great noble sacrifice. And that was the sacrifice of an animal. Like a ram or a sheep or a goat. And that's why Allah knows how many millennia later when the Prophet ﷺ commanded the Sahaba to perform the sacrifice that we all do in the month of Dhul Hijjah, Eid al Adha, the sacrifice, the Sahaba asked the Prophet, Ma hadi al Adha, ya Rasulullah, what is the understanding of these sacrifices, O Messenger of Allah? He said, Sunnah to Abikum Ibrahim. This is the tradition, the way of your forefather, your spiritual forefather, Abraham, Ibrahim. And so that ultimate sacrifice, or at least the willingness to do so, is commemorated every single year. When people at home are sacrificing animals in the name of Allah, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, at the occasion of Eid al-Adha, and specifically when the Hujjaj are there in Hajj, in Arafah, Muzdalifah, Mina, and especially those hujjaj, those people performing hajj who are doing umrah and hajj on the same journey, tamatya or qiran, are also offering a sacrifice there. So that beautiful moment of sacrifice and that absolute 
devotion and commitment and obedience to Allah is commemorated every single year at this occasion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all those who have gone to Hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invite all the rest of us to Hajj. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.